Okay, the third type of factoring that you will run into is called factoring the difference of squares. And in this case, you end up with uh, an algebraic expression that just has two terms. In each case, the term, uh, one term is subtracted from the other. And on top of that, each of the two terms is a square of something. For example, here we have x squared, and this is 3 squared. So we can write this as x squared minus 3 squared. And then once you have something in that form, it's really easy to factor. All you have to do is write it as a product of two binomials. In the first term of each binomial, we'll write the square root of the first term. The second term of each binomial is the square root of the second term. And then all you need is a plus here and a minus there. And the, the neat thing about that is when you multiply this back together, you end up exactly what you started with. And I always thought that this was very interesting, so let's just do it as an example. So when I, um, I multiply this back together, it's always good to check by doing so. I'm going to multiply the x times the x and the x times the negative 3, so this gives me x squared minus 3x, then I'm multiplying the 3 times the x and the 3 times the negative 3, so this gives me a plus 3x minus 9. And then notice that the two middle terms cancel out, and this becomes x squared minus 9, which is exactly what I started with. So that's how we factor the difference of squares. So once you know that, it's really easy. Again, you can say, oh, this is equal to y squared minus 4 squared. So therefore, when I factor it, it will look like this. I have a y and a y, a 4 and a 4, a plus and a minus, and I'm done. Wow, this is pretty simple. Let's take the next one. So this is equal as the same as 2x quantity squared minus 5 squared. Now here, you have to be careful. Really recognize what's being squared here. So since 4 is the square of 2, we can write it like this. 25 is the square of 5, we write it like this. And now when we factor it, we end up with a 2x, a 2x, a 5, and a 5, and a plus, and a minus. So it, only, it really becomes a, uh, an effort of finding what is being squared in each case. Looking at this example, and let me draw a line so we don't confuse what we did over there, what we did down here. Notice here, uh, we can write that as a 3y quantity squared minus a 2x quantity squared. It really helps to write it like this first, because then you can see what's being squared, and now we can simply factor that. So we write it like this. We write the 3y and the 3y, the 2x and the 2x, a plus and a minus, and we finished factoring it. Now the next two, I put those on there just to make sure we understood how to do that as well. Uh, here it doesn't look like anything is being squared. It's x to the fourth power, y to the fourth power, so is anything being squared? But actually, x to the fourth can be written as x squared quantity squared and y to the fourth can be rewritten as y squared, so this can be written as uh, y squared quantity squared, and now we have the exact same thing, but now it makes sense as the difference of two squares. It's this squared minus this squared. And once we have it written like that, we can simply write it as the product of two binomials, so this becomes x squared x squared, and y squared y squared, and a plus and a minus. So that was pretty simple. But then be careful because you're not really done yet. Let's take a look at this right here. The second binomial is again the difference of squares and that can be factored again. This we can't factor because that's the sum of squares and there's no such thing as easily factoring the sum of squares. So we'll rewrite this as x squared plus y squared times the product of two binomials. And we write the x and the x, the y and the y, a plus and a minus, and now we're done. So that's the final factored form of this original problem. This next problem is exactly the same. Again, you have to recognize that this is really the difference of squares in disguise. You say, well, how's, what's the disguise here? Well, 81 is really 9 squared. So this can be written as x to the fourth minus 9 squared. And let's not forget the equal sign. And of course, x to the fourth can be rewritten as x squared quantity squared minus 9 squared, like so. Now it's clearly the difference of squares, which we now know how to factor. So this is equal to x squared 9, x squared 
9 plus n minus n. It would appear as if we're done, but again, be careful. Here we have the sum of squares. Here we have the difference of squares. Remember that 9 is the same as 3 squared, so we can factor that as well. So this is x squared plus 9 times the product of the two binomials. We have an x and an x, a 3 and a 3, plus and a minus. And now we're done. That's the factored form of our original problem.